bright, beautiful world of YouTube. I am here with some amazing guests on the world of Zoom. And we are here chatting about, um, well, we were just chatting about essential oils and gardening. And then we are going to chat more on the essential oils and gardening. Um, everyone is muted. When they feel comfortable, they can unmute or um, anything like that. My name is Jean Collins, and I really love to educate people on ditching toxins, making sure you're using really amazing chemical-free products, and also um, helping to understand gut health and nutritional products, as well as emotional wellness. Uh, because I used to get sick all the time, and with that, what I learned is a lot of it came from toxins. So that's kind of my focus because when you remove those toxins, then your emotional well being will be improved, right? Your environment, the things that happen around you, and all of that will be just as clean and feel amazing. And then um, nutrition. Nutrition is a super important aspect of uh, emotional well being, as well as your immune system, and just really having this amazing quality of life. So I do all that with Young Living Essential Oils as it's literally changed my life. I used to get sick all of the time. I used to have a sinus infection, flu, pneumonia, bronchitis, repeat. By the time I was, um, I think like 12 or 13. So in my preteens, early teens, I got diagnosed with asthma. To my knowledge, no one else in my family had it. Uh, there is uh, scientific research that links toxins to lung issues as well. Um, so that's kind of another factor in there right now. My lungs are great at the time when I was a kid and young adult or in Florida, my, um, allergy specialist was like, you're not going to be able to breathe at a higher altitude. Um, well proved that wrong. The body is really amazing when you feed a good nutrition and you are using quality products. So amazing. Uh, I snowboard at 10,000 feet or more, 10 to 11,000. And it's just such a beautiful and amazing thing. So we're going to talk and focus more on making sure that we are using products in our garden and or our greenhouse to really help our greenhouse thrive. And another reason why I love Young Living is we have a beautiful seed to steal process. So um, we have over 14 farms internationally. And this actually also helps my little brother with his night terrors and um, myself with my skin as well. But we're gonna focus on the garden this time. There's so many great things that uh, essential oils, especially from Young Living, where we put no pesticides, we're really beyond organic. And uh, we wanna make sure that we're, we continue to lead in sustainability and better farming practices and always looking for the best methods as well in the world of Young Living. With that, I'm going to briefly share my garden, my greenhouse, actually, in my beautiful greenhouse. Um, and then we will get started on some amazing, amazing, great ways to use toxic free products. So, this is a beautiful wasp chilling in my greenhouse. We also use ladybugs. That's a new thing. I'll, I'll uh, get into that. There's some basil and some beets and some cucumbers and uh, different types of squash, yellow squash and black beauty squash. And then we got tomatoes. We have three types of lettuces, three types of tomatoes, uh, shishino, serrano, uh, peppers, and um, kale. So, and just so many amazing things. So that is my greenhouse and that's how awesome and amazing it is and how perfect it is for thriving. Now, with being outside and making sure that we're using things in the garden, I will tell you, um, so I'm gonna talk about some essential oils, but I'm also going to chat about some supplements. Well, really one supplement that I use in my garden, which is Mega Cal. I literally take about two gallons and I will put, actually I need to do this again uh, soon, I'll take three scoops and I'll put it in the two gallons of water and then I will hand water and well, about two, maybe three beds and then add more, right? Because I have in the greenhouse 
seven, seven beds, and then I have an outside bed. And then I'll also do it to my front flowers and everything. So um, actually, yeah, I have done Megan Cal for my front flowers. Now there's also tomato plants because I had so many volunteer tomato plants this year. It was like, I was giving them away and I just started planting them outside. <laughs> All of the beautiful things, right? Um, but with, with gardening outside, we want to make sure of a few things. We want to really be aware and be protecting ourselves right? I know that I can get lost in my greenhouse or my garden and weeding. Uh, here in New Mexico, we have tumbleweeds that we want to weed. So I make sure to apply my mineral sunscreen. Um, the reason why I love our Young Living Mineral Sunscreen is because we literally have removed oxybenzoin. And there are companies that are starting to get into this aspect of um, this disruption of the endocrine system and really understanding the importance of that oxybenzone is disrupting the endocrine system. So we want to make sure that we're protecting our skin in such a beautiful and natural way. So I love our mineral sunscreen for that, right? And then uh, our insect repellent. We want to make sure that we are in the world of protecting our skin with our insect repellent before going outside. There is a few DIY um, insect um, repellents that you can use as well. But this one is literally, it, it can say insect repellent because it's FDA approved and it is free from DEET. It is DEET free, 100% plant-based and DEET free. Both these products are 100% plant-based and toxic free. Young Living says no to over 2,500 ingredients, which is why I love them and they're amazing. I saw something come in on the chat. So I want to see. Um, yeah, um, nope, just three scoops of Mega Cal and two gallons of water. Right now, um, I mean, I use other nutrients in my garden as well and other soil, um, but that is an addition to the nutrients in, um, that I use. And I just do my best to get an organic one. Last year, we used a lot of Mother of the Earth, and this year we're using organic plant nutrients. Um, that so that's that's the one we're using. Uh, with with that, with also what we had to do to make sure that we are aphid free, right? Is really um, because I I got one area, and I thought that was the only area, but a garden mistake that I made um, that I didn't know. Because we just decided to build a greenhouse and start our beautiful uh, garden during 2020, right? We're just like, all right, let's do this. We've been thinking about it. We had everything kind of, well, part of it laid out and we got it done. And we just started it. So we left the, for the last two years, we've left the, the dead stuff just chilling in the greenhouse. Rookie mistake because this year we had squash bugs. And when we learned about the squash bugs and how they um, reproduce and everything, they will use the old dead foliage to reproduce. Yeah, I know, silly mistake, um, but it's all good. It is what it is. So uh, with that, um, I didn't realize that the aphids were in other areas until after coming back from a few vacations and they'd already like spread everywhere. So what I, the year before what I had done is I had a mixture of thieves fruit and veggie soap, thieves household cleaner, five drops of peppermint, clove, rosemary, and thyme. And then I honestly, what I did is I put it in an empty, um, our empty, Thieves foaming hand soap. And I added it to that. I added some water. Um, I couldn't really tell you exactly how much because I literally looked at my notes. And besides the oil drops, I was like, well, did I do two capfuls of this household cleaner or one? Or I think I was in the mode of just getting everything killed, right? Like, just let's get it done. Um, I do have some other specific recipes for you guys. So don't be like, what? I just DIY'd that and got it done. 
Now, so with that, with the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soap, the Thieves House Soap Cleaner, five drops of peppermint, clove, rosemary, and thyme. Then I added um, to that this year, more Thieves Dish Soap, because really when you're killing aphids and their, their eggs, you want it to be soapy so that they could drown, right? A little bit of water and 20 drops of citronella to last year's mixture. Remember last year's mixture is kind of unknown. For those who are watching the replay on the world of YouTube, hold your pants, we're gonna get to some legit DIY stuff that you can use. Um, with that, we have our beautiful Elaine Pilar who gave her idea of um, what she was using to help with aphids, which was five drops of citronella, lemongrass, peppermint, and rosemary, a little bit of vodka to disperse the oils, or you can use salt. So uh, depending on your, like if it was a four ounce, I'd probably use like a third of the vodka, right, Elaine? Yeah. Okay. And then the rest, water, and then just drop your essential oils in there. And then uh, the water being distilled water, right? Keep it as mineral free as possible. Um, and then spray that on and the aphids will go away, which is awesome and amazing because they, we don't want them. Now with my situation this year and having kind of only thought that they were in one area then being gone and then realizing, oh my God, they're in the rest of the beds. And I like saw them on the squash and just started. And I was like, how, like all, like the, the leaves, all of the leaves and like, and having two businesses and like, how am I going to stop this? Okay. What are some alternatives? Ladybugs, ladybugs are amazing. And they are really reasonable. Um, I, we bought extra, didn't realize that. So we didn't realize that one thing holds 1,500 ladybugs. Um, and we ended up selling our extras because we didn't need them. We still have some available. I'll chat with y'all later on that. Um, and that was just such a good and amazing, important thing to, to have. It's organic, it's supporting the planet, right? It's making sure that we're not using toxins. Our food is still organic and amazing. Anyone else like feel like their food from their garden is way better even than organic food at the store? Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Worlds apart, Worlds apart. Um, so with the people on, I do have a full chart one of the things that came up was ants, especially fire ants. So what you can do, and I'm not sure the exact ounces of, of what my friend Jerry was using. I will have to refer, uh, reconfirm with her. Um, but she said that she would do 20 drops of peppermint. Fire ants don't like peppermint. And spray it every day for a week. The cool thing is for us humans, that peppermint essential oil, because you will smell it wherever you spray it, is going to be great for your brain health, like really helping with memory, your energy, right? Like when you smell that aroma, wherever you're walking in and out of. And so that's, that's also like a cool little side benefit of using the peppermint essential oil. Now, um, so the cool, or with that, I would suggest this is a four ounce bottle do a little bit of either salt or the vodka to disperse it and water, right? That's what she did is 20 drops of, uh, of that. I'm not sure if it was in four ounce or what the exact thing was, but peppermint is great for keeping away ants. Now on my chart, uh, two other oils is citronella and spearmint, right? And there are plants like marigolds and, and nastriums that will also help keep your garden uh, pest free. So definitely look into that and using those to help with that, right? And then Sarah had brought up that she uses inside uh, for hers, neem oil and water. 
uh, for her aphid issues. And then for gnats, cucumber peel. Haven't heard of that one. I've heard of neem oil before, but I don't really have gnats right now. It was on the chart. So for gnats with essential oils, spearmint, citronella, or patchouli. So that's really cool. And you guys remember with this spray that I did for um, the, the aphids, I had citronella added to this year's version. Um, and a few other things, like you could, again, remember, there is already insect repellent from Young Living, super reasonable, lasts forever. Although if you're like, hey, I love to do DIY, what should I make? There's an outdoor spray, which is two ounces of witch hazel, two ounces of distilled water, 20 drops of thieves, 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops of rosemary, and 20 drops of citronella into a four ounce glass spray bottle, shake before each use. So again, that's two ounces of witch hazel, two ounces of distilled water, 20 drops of thieves essential oil, 20 drops of lemon essential oil, 20 drops of rosemary, and 20 drops of citronella, right? So that's, that is when you're going out in the, in the garden, you can spray that on you before and you'll be pest free. Pets be gone. You know, when you have pets or little rodents or things that maybe aren't, are not wanted, you can literally take cloth and cut them into little strips. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put five to 10 drops of, of an essential oil in a pan of warm water, whisk until the oil is separated throughout and uh, let this, the skinny, or let the strip soak in the water for about 30 minutes to absorb the oil, dry them out and then tie them around stakes or plants to keep those animals at bay. And you can literally do like the citronella, the lemon, the rosemary, peppermint um, for any sort of mice. Mice don't like peppermint. Uh, you can do a combo. Uh, there are other ways to look up what, if you have a specific rodent, what oils they do not like, right? Um, withering the unwanted spray. So for any leaves or any sort of root issues, you're gonna take, again, water and witch hazel and add 25 to 50 drops in a four ounce spray bottle of cinnamon bark essential oil um, and douse the leaves and the roots to help ward off any offenders. So if your plants need a little extra love, we're gonna take 10 drops each of tea tree, peppermint, and citronella in a four ounce spray bottle, um, mix with water and a little bit of vodka, and spray it along the affected parts of the plants during your gardening chores. Whatever might be withering or um, just need a little extra love. To attract pollinators, we know we need to attract pollinators, right? To help our plants really grow. You're gonna to wanna to add six to eight drops of lavender and orange essential oil to a four ounce spray bottle. So four ounce spray bottle and top with distilled water, shake and spray and the pollinator party will literally start. It's really cool. Uh, again, you can also plant things uh, that will attract those pollinators too. Sunflowers, this year, my sunflowers are so crazy. I've seen so many different types of pollinators compared to last year, which is really cool, right? That means the pollinators are healthy in this area or, you know, something is good. Um, and as you saw, my, you saw my beautiful wasp spray. So um, again, there's a don't bother me diffuser recipe. Uh, so you can use this recipe in your diffuser uh, before you're bringing in your harvest or as you're bringing in your harvest, right? Two drops of basil, two drops of peppermint, two drops of lavender, and two drops of clove, and eucalyptus radiata. Again, everything is two drops. So basil, peppermint, 
lavender, clove, eucalyptus radiata. Um, you can also use that when you are hanging out outside or just straight up citronella. Take a diffuser outside, diffuse, and the pests will just go away. It's really cool. Or purification essential oil. That's just so much a beautiful essential oil. And it'll help you be pest free while you're chilling outside, enjoying the sun, nature, and having fun with your friends and family. Now, if you are outside too long, there's a few things you can do when you come inside. You can literally like take lavender essential oil and rub it over your skin, right? We also have our Lavaderm after sun spray that you can apply, which is amazing. As well as something I just recently learned, um, take, take your Ningxia Red, uh, well, Orange Vitality, take your Orange Vitality and do six to eight drops in a shot or two of Ningxia Red and take that. You're like, oh, I don't have Orange Vitality, but you have extra Super C. This does have Super C in it, but take an extra Super C because when you have extra vitamin C, what that is doing is helping internally your body repair the skin, which is really cool. So Ningxia Red, uh, the two ounces, six to eight drops of orange, or take a one or two extra of vitamin C. That will also help, um, as well as using the lavender or the lavender after sun spray on your skin. This is also good for bites, or minor cuts. Um, it, is, it helps with itching and whatnot. And this is a, again, an over-the-counter product. Um, and then for any of those live, I will send you this. For any of those watching the replay, I can also send you this. All my contact info is below. Um, you know, I wanted to make it useful for the people here. What's best for you guys? What are you guys really looking for? Um, but another thing that I might, a lot of people don't want is either is mosquitoes. So they don't like lavender, citronella, or lemongrass. You can also look at the oils in the insect repellent and just go from there too, right? Um, uh, and then want to make sure that we are using our toxic free mineral sunscreen and or insect repellent, right? Remember that as well. So thank you guys so much for wa watching. I hope you can see that it's easy to add your mega cow, your, and spray your garden with essential oil infused products, right? Make it a super DIY, easy, quick, fun. I know I just went over products, but you can see I still have quite a bit of this. And I'm also using ladybugs to help with my aphids. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't really need any more DIY of that right now. Um, but I hope you can see the benefit of also just using these products every day. I mentioned that peppermint's really good for that uplifting. Lavender is really good for the skin. Citronella is also really good for your muscles. There's so many great things that essential oils can do for our body, especially also when we use them on a daily basis for our emotional health. Now, I won't go into that right today. I will at other events. So stay tuned, watch this channel, message me for my upcoming Zooms every Thursday at 7 p.m. And then I do have in-person classes. For those of you who are like, oh my God, I need this stuff like today. When can I get it? You can easily order it online. And my link is below for those of you on YouTube. For those of you live, I will send you that. I'll put it in the chat in a minute. But really there's a good, better, best. So um, the good way, if you're like, hey, I really just want some orange essential oil, um, you'll pay retail for it and you can grab some orange essential oil. However, I'm sure all of you realize you're like, okay, I need some citronella and it's orange, some lavender. Um, let's get some insect repellent and mineral sunscreen. So the better way is to jump on a and grab those items that will save you money because you'll get 
that's over 100 PV or order 100 PV and you'll earn the ability to unlock the discounted price. So you'll save 24% right off the bat. The best way is to jump on a loyalty order. Grab your items, grab the Ningxia Red. Ningxia Red is also great for your immunity, your eye health, your heart health. It's super amazing to help you with energy and just to live a long, vitality, strong life. Two ounces a day. Uh, grab that, keep that on your loyalty order. Grab some other items. These essential oils are literally nickels, dimes, and quarters per drop. Literally nickels, dimes, and quarters. Sometimes, depending on the oil, they can be like dollar, a dollar, or 75 cents, or, you know, just depends on what oil you're talking about. And you're worth it. You are literally worth every single drop that you use. These bigger bottles, 285 drops. Smaller bottles, about 85. So about 285, there could be about 300. Smaller bottle, 85 to 100. Just depends on the viscosity, the thickness of the oil. Super amazing. Grab yourself on a loyalty order. You're going to earn points for free products and you can change your loyalty order at any point in time, just mixing things up, as well as um, for the first year, you're gonna get gifts at three, six, nine, and 12 months. It's really cool. I'm happy to chat and go over anything else with anyone on that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next week. I'm gonna unmute for my beautiful guests and ask any amazing questions or answer any questions. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye-bye, YouTube.